<laughs> That's good, huh? Just Don't make the do the don't make the, the mistake twice, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Still don't want you to say <laughs> 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 Still the same version of a corner. So just to remind everyone, the first section for immediate use, and then the second one for 10.30 this evening. Mark, I'll start with you. Ralph, good afternoon. Good afternoon. A uh, nice bright start to the press conference, and, and obviously a good spirit amongst the, the camp. Is that very much echoed in, in the dressing room with the players still positive and energised despite some difficult recent results? <sighs> yeah, I think uh, the atmosphere is like the results are in the moment. We are not happy about uh, the situation that we... We didn't didn't take the results we needed in the last two games. Uh, okay, against Arsenal to win 2-0 is not so surprising. It can happen, I think. Uh, the way we played there was uh, a different one. We started good and had a big chance, but then finally we were the better team. So if we lose against Arsenal there, it's not so surprising. Uh, what uh, we are still missing are the points against Cardiff. That's for sure. That's why we are on the line now. Um, but uh, I saw today in faces they are very focused and uh, I know exactly what's tomorrow all about. We want to present us tomorrow as the Southampton FC, what knows exactly what's about in this game. Uh, I don't want to say the pressure is more on Fulham. I know that they are eight points away from the line, we are only one. And it's an important game, it's not the final game. We have still uh, 10 games to play then after this game, but it's an important one for us to take important points. And I think what we need tomorrow is a commitment, what is not only on the pitch, but also off the pitch. And that's what I, what I demand for. It's a huge game, 18th against 19th. You've touched upon it there, obviously there's a an eight-point gap from them and safety is a seven-point gap between yourselves. Is this a defining game for, for your season? It's an important one for us, it's for sure. And for in, mainly because we want to find back in the line where we are successful in taking results. That's what we are focusing. Uh, I think in the last uh, two games we took less points than we maybe was possible for us because of a few mistakes. Um, I think we were discussing a lot uh, this these situations and um, um, it's a game of mistakes, but it doesn't mean that you can make mistakes as much as you want. You have to learn out of it. And uh, as uh, Yannick Westergaard did in the first game against Cardiff and then after this game, I think he made a perfect development in his, in his performance. The same I was uh, demanding from from Czech, and the last game it was really a step back in his in his development, and he knows that. But I'm far away from booing on on a player from my team, or or um, yeah, say that he he I don't trust him anymore. But fact is that uh, he's a young player from this team. He's a player of the Southampton way. And it's not easy for him in that moment. He knows that he made a big, big mistake, but I think uh, he will learn out of this, and 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 we will help him to get better and to 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 stop these mistakes. And um, as a team, I think we all take care of every player because we need every player. And we don't forget that in the time when Maya Yoshida was in the Asia Cup, he was the guy who was playing fantastic games in the back five and helped us to win against Leicester against. Uh, Everton in fantastic fights, and I think that's what we what we should show that we are a team and that we are a club that that cares about everybody, and uh, that's what we do. You touched upon Fulham there. Do you feel that there is far more pressure on them with their situation? If you win, they could go ten points behind you with ten games to go. Do you feel that Claudio Ranieri's side have a must-win game here at St Mary's? I think he knows that it's a must win for him because uh, 10 points away, then it's done, I think. Uh, for us, it's a should win because we are also under the line. In the moment, we are both relegated, that's for sure. But also the teams, they have more points than we in the moment. Uh, if, they think, if they think that they are safe now, I think that's a wrong, uh, a wrong thought they have because um, 33 points to get from this moment 
means everybody can get a lot and uh, it's for us not, not a new situation because in the beginning when I was starting here I was saying that at the end that's the moment where you have to stand above the line and it can take until the last game still you uh, until you are there where you want to be so if some if a club thinks he is it is safe uh, he, they, they are safe until the end of the game i think they are wrong and for us it's not this new situation we have the pressure from the first day i'm working here and that keeps on until the last game and we are we are prepared for that when you look at fulham's goals that they've conceded so far this season it's one of the worst not just in Premier League history, but in top flight history. You didn't start the weekend with a recognised striker on the pitch. Are you looking to exploit them defensively? Oh, we will change, sure, a few things. It's a completely different game at home against Fulham than away against Arsenal. In Arsenal, we tried to, to come behind the last line with a speedy uh, rise, uh, Nathan. Uh, he has a big chance in the beginning. It was perfect in what, what, what we wanted to do in our plan. But uh, yeah, it's even time if you don't score and then it gets us uh, the 1-0 one, one behind, then everything changed and the match plan is completely different. Um, tomorrow it's also a complete different game and you can be sure that we have uh, prepared something uh, to find the right decisions in the right moments. Have you ever come across Claudio Ranieri before? He's obviously a a vastly experienced manager. He's been managing since 1986. He's managed the likes of Napoli, Monaco, Chelsea, Inter, Juve, Roma. The list is endless. Have you ever had the opportunity to, to come across him before? Uh, not really, because I've never uh, trained in that uh, in that um, areas or, or uh, leagues where, where he where he was uh, managing. And uh, I think. Um, yeah, last two years in, 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 in Leipzig could be the chance because we played Champions League there. And the other time we, we didn't have um, a game against each other. The Southampton team news ahead of the game. Obviously Danny Ings has been, been key for you this season with eight goals in 19 appearances. You said he was edging closer to, to being available. Could he play in this game? It um, doesn't seem that he, it's, it's possible and we, we must pay attention. Um, the risk is too high to bring him. He, he, doesn't play, uh, he doesn't train with the team in the moment. He's training for himself and we still have a big big injury with, with uh, Michael Obafemi. So we know how dangerous it is uh, with Michael Obafemi. We took a long time to, to give him the time to, to play again. Um, didn't let him start from the beginning, only second half, because we knew it's 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 important for him to make a, a, a short step and and and, and a, a small step at first. But uh, it's a completely different thing if you train and train with the team two weeks uh, or play in a Premier League game. Uh, so the intensity is a much higher one, and and um, that's the problem for him, I think. Um, uh, and with Danny, we, we, we don't any, take any risk. Maybe it's an option for, for, for uh, the Tottenham game. But if not, then we have three weeks rest and then we can, we can uh, focus on the last games. And Mario Lamina and Michael Oberfemi, you said you edged him in. Is he OK after the weekend? Mario Lamina is also not training until now with, with, uh, with the squad. Uh, he's training for himself with a controlled uh, uh, work, workload. And uh, we'll have a look. Thanks very much. Thank you. How we saw how disappointed you were at the time when Michael Obafemi came off with the diagnosis of, of his injury and everything. How how big a blow is it? How long is he going to be out for? It's a big blow. It's uh, the end of the season. He would not play. When you've you've put so much faith in him, you, you've 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 talked him up so much and. Clearly, he was a big part of your plan. So, how big a hole does that leave in your plans? At first, you have to say if you have the, we have a, a big problem because an 18 year, 19 year old young striker is not part of our team, then we really have a problem. So, it's not about putting pressure because he was now not on. We have more options with with strikers we have, uh, and. Um, it's it's the the worst thing is for himself because uh, in another big injury 
in this age where you want to play, where you want to get experience, where you want to make the next step in your development, doesn't help him a lot for the future. That means it's really a big problem for his career of, of playing professional football. And that's what I what I am discussing more in a moment, or what I think about more in a moment. We find the solutions to 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 have other options, but for him it's a it's a disaster. How has he reacted to the news? Oh, it was uh, he was down. That's for sure. Uh, uh, we need to to take him in, in the arms a little bit because uh, it's for a young player. It's it's the worst that can happen. That's for sure. And as far as you mentioned, Jack making. <clears throat> making the mistake and things like that. Where you want players to be brave and perhaps take risks at times, how, how do you balance the, what, the, the making of mistakes and, and, and taking risks and things? Is that, how do you balance that? Yeah, that's a big question, I think, um, to find uh, in this moment the right decision. Um, uh, we were demanding before the game that it is mainly the first uh, 10 minutes uh, not necessary to build up in the situation. He knows that it, it would be better to clear the ball in this situation. We were speaking about that before. Um, but to be clear in that moment and to be uh, um, the, to, to, to find the best decision, that's, the, I think, a, a part of, of, of development and of experience. And uh, I think he will learn a lot out of this last games he, he played. And, and for the future, uh, as a young player, I think sometimes you have to walk through such a valley. And then uh, if you take the right uh, things out of the situation, what's well, not an easy one for him, that's for sure, then I think he get better or grow in these moments. And I think that's what, what, I, what I hope he will do. Yeah? And with the whole squad, with, with, with so much being talked about the importance of this game, how, how do you again balance the, the need for points, the, the bigging up the importance of the game, but also making sure people aren't you know, uh, distracted by the, I don't know, the, the, the need for those points and, and the expectation and everything? I think it's not so far away since we, we, we played at home against Everton and, and played a very good game and showed uh, that uh, we can surprise uh, the opponents and with the way we want to play and and are very focused and very concentrated and i think uh, maybe uh, we come now again in the situation where we know that it is 100 percent necessary not to not to play very nice or beautiful but to play for the results and i think uh, we have to come back in this in this shape to stress the opponent to surprise them a little bit more with what we are doing and that was uh, the topic of the last two days we want to find something where we can we can uh, be a little bit more um uh, unberechenbar that's the <laughs> difficult word i don't find difficult. Huh? Difficult, to difficult to play against yes Fair enough. thank you very Thanks much a lot. I see you mentioned off Femi's injured, Danny Ings is injured. How confident are you with the strikers that you're left with? Obviously, Charlie Austin was told he can leave last month. Shane Long was out of the squad entirely at the weekend. So, just your thoughts on that, really? Sam Gallagher, we have also. Sims is also an option, maybe. Uh, we have we have uh, a few options in the, in the, in the back. Um, I think Reddy showed that he can be a striker uh, that uh, really scores, uh, also in the front line. line. Um, he's very flexible. And um, I'm positive. I think uh, I trust every player I have, and I think uh, Long has showed that he can score. Uh, in, in, in Leicester, he made a fantastic game, uh, one assist, one score. So, um, but I think we also showed that we have other players also that can score. If I take Browsey for example, or Pierre, or also the centre backs that can score. And what we need is tomorrow. At first, a very good balanced defense uh, against a team that is playing mainly to the center striker Mitrovic. He's a very good guy. Babel, they have they have also quality. So we have to focus on getting a good balance in in the defense work, and then I think we always have the chance to score, and we have the quality to score. And, and that's not that's not our biggest problem in, in the last games. I think the, the, the biggest problem was that we made mistakes more than the opponent because it's always about making mistakes and also Arsenal made mistakes against us but they they, they didn't cost them a goal eh? for us the last two mistakes there was always a goal and that's also a quality kind of quality if you make a mistake and that's immediately a goal so we have to stop this 
and um, then uh, being positive and know that uh, we have tomorrow uh, a big, big, big game to win. When strikers are in and out of the team, it's obviously difficult for them to get on a, a run of scoring or something. How much of an impact can that have, though? Mostly Shane Long, Charlie Austin, to get on a scoring streak when they're not playing that often. I think it's also a part of quality if you come in the match and show in the 30 minutes uh, that you can always uh, be part of a, a scoring situation. I think Jess showed this. He is a very good substitution player. Uh, and I think it's easy if you come in the game after 60 minutes, the opponent is a little bit tired, you come fresh and, and uh, full motivated and, and, and know that you can you can put some pressure on them. So it's normally, I like the situation. I was a striker before and then when I was substituted, I, I was a very good choker, yes. Um, obviously, Mark mentioned Danny Ings' stats that are uh, impressive. How frustrating is it not being able to have him the whole season to rely on as a manager? We can speak about him the next two hours. It doesn't make a difference, and I don't sit here and 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 show the the players the scenes where we have Danny Ings on the pitch and show him how important he is for us. I think to look, uh, f we were looking for that uh, we find other solutions and other possibilities, and and that's that's our that's our work we have to do and our challenge, and we have good challenges in the future and we do everything to, to make good results. And the goalkeeper changed at the weekend again. Uh, would you be willing to change that tomorrow night or is Angus Gunn now the number one going forward? Yeah, I think it's not a question about who is number one, number two, but I think it's about... Uh, the first thing is that you see uh, that the team is getting used to play with, with both keepers. Uh, they didn't make big, big mistakes, not Alex and not Gunny. Last game Gunny had a few very good saves, I think. Alex did also. So it's more about uh, being flexible on, also on this position. And, and, and sh sh we are looking in every training session to the keepers, uh, who is in best condition, who can help us most maybe to find a clean sheep. You know that Angus was the only guy who, who had a clean sheep since I'm here. That was sure also in my mind to, to give him the chance against, against uh, Arsenal. And I think he made not a bad game. Can that unsettle the defence at times? Obviously, Jack Stevens has been in the firing line this week. Can a change of goalkeepers not confuse the defence? Or I, I told you, I think uh, um, they get used to play with both keepers, like we do in the training session. Also, always we always change the, the the goalkeepers, and I think it's not a problem for them. Thank you. You mentioned a couple of times about the mistakes that you need to cut out. Do you think the mistakes are a direct result of the pressure that the team is under because of the position in the league table? No, I don't think it's about pressure in the league table. It's about pressure you get from the opponents. And if you if you make such a mistake against Arsenal, then you can be sure that it's immediately a goal. And that's a big problem, I think. And we made it too easy uh, after having the first chance. But um, um, I think it's it's not far away when we show that we can defend uh, like a team for 90 minutes. And that's the most important thing for me, that we showed it, that we think we can do it. And although the last game, we, 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 uh, we, the opponent has not so much chances like Cardiff. I think they shoot two times on our goal and burst good. It's, it's not always like this. But you have to work and you have to, to force the luck back to win a game. And that's the most important thing we have to do. And that means that we have, we have a team on the pitch and also supporters and fans around us that knows exactly what we need in this moment. Yeah, how much risk I take and how much supporting is possible is necessary in that moment. And that's what I'm demanding for tomorrow. The fans have got an important role to play, haven't they? Because inevitably there is going to be some anxiety in the stands tomorrow because of how big the game is. How do you stop that translating onto the pitch with your players? How do you protect them from that? I trust my supporters. I know exactly that they, that they know what it's about tomorrow. And they know how, how to help us. Uh, in general, it doesn't help if, if it's booing, if there's a mistake. I can guarantee that tomorrow will, will, will be mistakes on the pitch from our side. We will lose balls. That's, I can guarantee that's, that's football. But I can guarantee, I think, that they know what it's about tomorrow to be a Southampton FC supporter. And then they will help us, I'm sure. Is this the biggest game for you so far since you came in as manager? Do you no. 
everyone was big. Every game was big because we were so far in the back. And uh, I think we started as much points as Fulham and now we have seven more. So we know that we took a lot of points, but it's not enough because the others also are in, in a good position and, and um, stay on working, generally stay on working. And just finally, for you personally, because obviously you have been in this position in, in Germany before, what lessons do you take from when you overcame that situation in Germany that you can use now? I think you can't compare the situation. I was two times in the second German league and the third German league in a similar situa situation in, 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 in the spring that you are around the line and you want to save this club. The big difference here is um, that the quality of the other teams is a much higher one. Yeah? And I can see teams here, they are so weak that they deserve to stay in the back. It's about small things of uh, one game falls on the other, on the one side or on the other side. And we managed it that we often put it on our side in the first time. In the last two games we didn't. And we have to come back in the situation where we put it on our side. And that means that in these special moments we have to be focused and concentrated and work as a team. And when, if we do this, then we deserve to win. Just confirm, yeah. what's the Michael Orban injury? What's it's a hamstring. Injury. Hamstring. Yeah.